A few weeks back, I was surfing at one of my favorite beaches, and it's one where the amount of sand on the beach actually varies tremendously. Sometimes the level of sand is about six feet higher, and sometimes it's about six feet lower. It comes and goes throughout the year. And at this time, there was a lot of sand, and the more sand there is, as the wave approach approaches the beach, it goes from deep water to shallow water very, very quickly. And the last most intense part of the wave happens in extremely shallow water. And I was getting my last wave of the day, and I was coming in, gonna ride the wave all the way to the beach, but just before I was getting to the beach, the water sucked out on this wave and it was I was going down the wave into water that was looking like it was about six inches deep and the wave was breaking behind me so there was no backing out at this stage it was I was I was in a bad situation and there was really no escape in it so I had to jump off my board and as I came down it's about a four or five foot wave as I landed in this very shallow water I landed on my heel into the sand hard like you think oh it's just sand it's not it's not rock it's not cement but sand when it's wet and compacted the bottom of the ocean is as hard as it gets and i hit it hard and it shocked my ankle and it was really hurting for about 30 seconds 45 seconds i was a bit concerned but by the time i got to the beach it was fine i was able to walk up on the sand and watch my friends come in and get their last waves and it wasn't bothering me walked back up to the car drove home got gas on the way home everything was cool. And then I got home and started working on the computer and over the next 30 minutes or so, the pain came back big time. This was seriously painful and I could not ignore it. And I was thinking, geez, like I've maybe really done some damage to myself here. Am I gonna have to be on crutches and some kind of ankle brace keeping my weight off it? It's my right foot. Am I gonna have to drive with my left foot if I wanna get around? What's, what's gonna happen here? Uh, but instead of freaking out too much, I, First tried to elevate it, that did about nothing. Um, and then decided to take more serious action. So I took a teaspoon of eucomia, that was fantastic. This is an herb, a tree bark, that is traditionally used for strength and integrity of muscles and tendons and ligaments. So I took that in some hot water and continued doing that again every 12 hours. And also took MSM. MSM is a naturally occurring sulfur compound. Again, very good for strength, integrity, and elasticity of muscles, tendons, and ligaments, and all soft tissue throughout the body. Great for the liver, so many other things. We have a whole video going all in depth about that, which you can check out on our YouTube channel. You can just search on YouTube, Addictive Wellness MSM, and that will come up. Uh, and then I put DMSO cream on it. DMSO is another sulfur compound. It's like sort of a, a, a liquid cousin of MSM, you could say, that helps with these same things. And so if you want to check that out, you can look you can look online or on Amazon for a product called Old Fashioned Peppermint Liniment. And it's some pretty powerful stuff for, for all kinds of aches and pains and injuries. And so I put that on. And then I went into the infrared sauna. And in the front of my infrared sauna, I have a red light therapy tower, which has red light and near infrared light LEDs and got it right in front of that and I think the the near infrared here was especially important and so did that and I was still at this point that first night hopping around the house on my left foot it was uh it was not a pretty sight and and I wasn't sure what was going to happen with this and as I was doing the near infrared you could just feel it kind of pulsating went and hopped into the shower took a shower sitting down and wrapped it up in an ace bandage that night and went to sleep um, in the middle of the night I wasn't sure what was going on with it uh, the ace bandage is actually kind of like cut off my circulation a little bit so I had to take that off and go hop to the bathroom in the morning I wasn't putting any weight on it yet just because I wasn't sure what was going on with it but then as I, over the morning as I started to put a little bit of weight on it it's like okay this still is sensitive but I can put a little weight here it's it's okay and by the next day, you know, I took that whole next day, I, like I was pretty going easy on it uh, and, and doing all these things, taking the MSM, eucomia, DMSO, getting in and the red light therapy and the near infrared, which is gonna bring a lot of blood flow there to help repair things. And I did not ice it. I did not ice it because I, I could deal with the pain and I wanted to have the circulation going there to bring all the things that my body wanted to use to repair this site. So by, Two days later, I was feeling absolutely fine, like nothing had ever happened. I went, you know, easy on it for about a week, but totally fine. And so that was pretty amazing. Now, of course, this is not a ligament tear. Um, this is some sort of lesser injury, but it was pretty substantial. I could not put any weight on it that first day. But now when I just, you know, I share this to, to kind of 
share my personal experience, my most recent personal experience with the amazing power of some of these natural tools to help with soft tissue injuries. Now, if you have a grade one or a grade two ligament injury, these can potentially heal themselves, but this takes time and really needs proper care and a doctor's supervision for better and quicker healing. But in addition to that, you may want to bring in some of these other tools that I mentioned here. Now, if you're dealing with a grade three injury, this is a complete tear of the ligament, and this definitely is going to require surgical treatment. Now, in addition to what we've mentioned already, a couple other things going further that you might even want to consider. I didn't have to resort to these because I was taken care of pretty quickly. But if you want to go further, you could look at peptide therapy with peptides like BPC-157 that are, are quite easy to inject into the area and can bring a lot of accelerated healing. And to go a step even further than that, you could look at stem cells. There's more and more stem cell clinics here in the US where you can uh, have stem cells made from your own fat, um, which is an okay solution. The problem there is that stem cells made from your own tissues are as old as you are. And that's not optimal. Younger stem cells are better. So if you can get, you can go to many other countries where you can get stem cells from donors who have, who have given it from the Wharton's jelly or from the placenta. These are the ultimate in stem cells and you can get some very powerful therapeutic benefits from those. So if you are watching this and you're dealing with a ligament injury, let me know down in the comments what happened and, and, and what you're going through and if you found anything to be helpful so far. Or if you've used any of these things I've mentioned, let me know what your experience has been. I'm always curious to hear what's going on with you guys. And before you go, here's a link to a video that I think you'd enjoy watching next. And here's one the YouTube algorithm thinks you'd enjoy watching next. And there's a link to our website. Have a great day and look forward to seeing you all again next time.